Yo, what is going on you guys? Bastion Yjo here and today, today I want to go ahead and talk about a lot of the diversity that I've seen very very recently actually in the Yu-Gi-Oh community when it comes to regional tops, YCS tops, some local tops, but essentially we're talking about big big ticket items right we're talking about we're talking about big events large scale events events that you can actually see what decks are actually going to be topping what decks are actually good and you need to go ahead and make sure you're playing a good and reliable and consistent deck in order to make sure that you are topping and i want to talk a lot about about the diversity that i'm seeing so uh, first things first i want to go ahead and address uh, i guess what you would call an elephant in the room is that a lot of people are not playing in this current format only because they feel like either you're playing Fluandries, you're playing, or you're playing Ishizu Tier Lament. Some sprites sprinkled in here and there, but I do want to go ahead and bring it up that it's not exactly that case for the entire meta. We are seeing quite a few rogue decks top here and there, and I want to go ahead and start off with Madolce. So Madolce is actually have found a lot of consistency and a big, big boost to itself through the Verna Self cards. Yes, the cards that I roasted to all hell in my initial reaction to them a few months back definitely make sure you check out that one because if you want to see me go off on a deck that's definitely one to go ahead and do it because i saw absolutely no potential for the vernus of cards whatsoever right over here right so uh they are actually really really good with medoshi because they add a lot of consistency to the deck a lot of the cards you can discard them with another card to search an earth fairy from your deck and water medulches or the fairies so you go ahead and max mix and match it really really well you can of course play the one Herald of Warrior Sight. It is limited, of course, unfortunately, but uh, with the majority of the deck being fairies, you should be good to go from there. But this is a very, very interesting build. I think it's the only card, the only deck so far that I have seen top with this card. Uh, this is the new Nibiru card. I'm not exactly sure what it's called right now, but I'll go ahead and make sure I leave a picture of it on the screen for you guys. My apologies on that one. But yeah, very, very interesting build. Got top 16 at the Torino Regional. So really, really interesting there. Uh, so this is all. Uh, so I want to go ahead and give credit. So Credits are already given to the YouTube pages that actually uh, profile these videos. Uh, but I want to go ahead and give a quick shout out to uh, Chalonco Store. Uh, this is a, a very, is a, I guess, more of a Latin American based Facebook page that actually uploads a lot of really amazing deck profiles for rogue decks or things like that. And that's where I get some of my ideas of what I'm going to be doing for rogue decks coming up. So if you guys want to go ahead and get a quick glimpse, you probably get a few tips here and there. Also, it's just a good way to go ahead and see what good rogue decks are there in the current meta. So Madolce is definitely one of them being right there. And they also posted a few other ones, and not just them, of course. Uh, we can go ahead and see we have the WCQ regional. So essentially with this one, uh, Rikas on Avalon, which we've known has been a fantastic deck for a while now. It really just depends heavily on how pe how prepared people are for this deck. I think that when it, it won the YCS uh, a few months back, I do not think people were prepared or really knew what this deck did. I still don't think people are prepared or know what this deck does, but it's people are a lot more aware that the deck actually exists. So you do want to be careful with that here and there. I do see it having a few consistency issues, but besides that, great job to whoever it is actually top with this because they got sixth place. So that's really, really good to see. At least a little bit more, again, diversity. So far we have Madolce, we have Sun Avalon still doing well. Uh, every now and then. Sun Avalon is a weird deck because you definitely know it's rogue, with high tier potential if people aren't prepared for it. It's a bit of a weird deck, definitely. Uh, Virtual World is up here, so you can see here a uh, guy from Facebook. <laughs> uh, so Virtual World is a deck that I, I knew is going to be perfect for countering the meta because Bistials don't affect it. If you, you do get cards sent, sent to the graveyard with the Shizu cards, you're only going to essentially benefit from it as well because you need a lot of graveyard interaction in order to be able to go off with your plays with Virtual World as well, especially King Long or the the Chu Chi or the Zhang Wu, it gives you a little bit more versatility there as well. I uh, did think it, this thing it was a little weird here in place to eat Telly, but I mean, I didn't top with the virtual world, so you know, who am I to speak? But there we go, top eight for the Bogota regional, which is again a little bit more diversity with the meta. So, so far, we have three different decks that no one's really talking about again, topping in the current format. Uh, so, virtual world again, nothing activates on the fields, all going to be enhanced uh, hand effects. You can play cards like skill drain in this deck as well, which I think is uh, a cut above the rest when it comes to floodgates that are able to be played in the deck because I essentially I know that skill drain is going to be huge in this upcoming format because it stops Fluandries, it stops uh, Cash Tira, it hurts Sprite quite a bit as well. So it's something to keep in mind if it's something that you want to play down the line. For a future format, I would most likely take out the Imperm and put in the uh, Skill Drains, but that's perfectly me. That's, that's I mean, uh, that's my personal preference uh, as far as why I believe would be better for the upcoming format. But again, who knows? We are 
are going to wait and see. Uh, this, I believe, is called Umi Control. This actually did get a few tops down the line, but again, it's a lot of forgotten decks that we know are good, we know have decent viability, but essentially we tend to forget about these because we start to focus on the uh, tier zero-ness of the format. But again, what we're seeing is a lot more diversity in the format than we originally expected. Math, Mike, which we know are good. This one was also very, very surprising with Ninjas actually topping the Louisville Regional. Uh, and if you want, you guys want to go ahead and check out his deck profile, it's, uh, it's going to be on Goo Gaming. Um, I actually checked it out for myself, and I actually, because I saw that profile, I put all this in my shopping cart on TCG Player, so I can go ahead and see what ninjas do and everything. So if you guys are looking to build ninjas, this the entire deck costs twenty five dollars <laughs> for, for uh, twenty twenty five dollars for just ninja stuff, and of course a few stuff here and there. I mean, Book of Moons aren't worth very much. Trouble Tactics are going to be 15s each, so it's not really the most expensive deck in the world. I'm pretty sure you can build up these entire deck for like 40, 50 bucks probably. I mean, the Daruma Cannons are like 3 bucks right now. Really, really inexpensive for such a good card they are. But overall, I just didn't know what Ninjas did, so I want to go ahead and check it out. And I got a little bit more better understanding. They worked a lot with having cards flip face down. Ergo, the Daruma Cannon the and the Book of Moon as well. So it's something to keep in mind as far as what other potential viable options are there. Also, the entire deck is, is commons. So if it's a bunch of commons, and you put them together, it actually makes a pretty viable deck, surprisingly so. Kudos to Aaron Hendrick for topping with that deck as well. And then, of course, we have the cash tier strategy, which we all know is very, very good. And then we have, of course, the Stormwinds, Barry Satchel Stormwinds, which needs to go ahead and get banned in this upcoming uh, ban list. Whether it's in January, February, it doesn't matter. Most likely February at this point, because we're almost there. But from what I'm seeing right now, guys, it, while yes, it is still a tier 0 format, we have seen a lot of decrease in their overall representation for issues of tier. And we're starting to see a lot more diversity actually being included into the meta, which is actually really nice to see. Even though we are in a format where clearly issues of tier is the number one deck and clearly is oppressive and consistent as all heck, we can still have other fun decks that are actually doing very, very well as well. Not only that fun, but they're also relatively inexpensive as well. Just be able to have that consistency with all these decks doing so well it's really nice to see as also this could also be a factor of people are just bored of the old format and want to try something new as we approach the new format but all that being said we are seeing the overall diversity with the format which is really nice to see as well so these are some deck lists if you guys want to definitely go ahead and check this out so go ahead and uh, replay all of them up here on the screen but i definitely have to recommend for you guys to add a little bit of diversity right now so far i am testing with the uh, that cosmo deck i uploaded yesterday just to get a little bit away from the format just have a little bit more fun with the deck overall but overall what do you guys think of the current format as we are in between formats essentially without having a balance it's really interesting the the situation that we're currently in but let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below are you guys playing tier shizu or have you switched off that already and want to have a little more fun playing madolce playing virtual world or something crazy like that let me know in the comment section down below and we'll see if we can maybe do some uh, some budget deck profiles for any of our new players out there as well so if you guys enjoyed the video and you enjoyed diversity and giga make sure you smash that like button subscribe for more and i'll see you guys in the next one